Late Wednesday night, Portland police responded to the latest shooting in Deep Southeast, a neighborhood where this type of violence is becoming routine. I'm getting a little tired of living in Dodge City. Police responded to a shooting on Southeast 146th Avenue and Stark Street, where two people were injured and taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Officers then saw the suspects run into a nearby apartment building on the next street over. Police surrounded that building. I just kind of like walked through and just saw all the cop cars, all the cameras. Dakota works in the strip mall that acted as a base for police throughout most of the day. There seems like a lot, there's always like a lot of shootings going on around uh, like Southeast. Uh, so it's, I hate to say I'm used to it, but you know, it's, I'm more acclimated to it. It doesn't really shock me. In this case, Portland police detained eight juveniles. They were hiding inside an apartment. Police spent hours searching the building slowly and carefully using a remote control device and cert team. Nearby residents were told to shelter in place. That order lifted around two Thursday afternoon once the building was cleared. I don't know what to think about the juvenile thing. We, we seem to have lost all kinds of control. All control over the kids. It's just another day in Portland. This type of violence is something Leo and his young family are escaping. We're moving. We're moving next week. Others, like Brandon Welch, are taking a different approach to protecting themselves. I had to purchase my first firearm, you know, because I'm afraid, you know, for my kids, and the safety of, you know, my family. I have four kids. I got a wife, you know. Meanwhile, down the street, a group of activists posted these signs calling for peace. You know, we want Portland to do better and we want people in Portland to be happy and to be able to have an environment where they can survive and flourish. Now, Southeast 148th and Stark is now back open, and police have not made any arrests, but again, eight juveniles have been detained. Brittany, Ashley. Blair, thank you for the update.